racism is wrong. So there's one thing we can all agree on, and that is that femboys are silly little creatures. I'm a silly little creature, and so is everyone in my Discord server. By the way, you should all totally go join that. Especially one of our active members, Lucy here. I'll sh put screenshots here of the fucking song that we wrote. It's basically a femboy sitting on a wall. I legit saw it before I went to bed, and they were still doing it when I woke up the next morning. That's fucking dedication. But this video is mainly about my past, because I know that we've grown a lot since I, I fucking started YouTube, but for the new people, we're, we're gonna we're gonna catch you up. Talking of memes, my dad uh, has just messaged me. I know, right? Dad, haha. <laughs> because I'm moving out soon, in terms of like, I'm going back home for the summer, uh, he's just asked me, oh, we're gonna have to pack up all your things. Uh, best hide your sex toys, though. <sighs> Thanks, Dad. Anyway, this video is mainly for all the adults here. So if, if you're under 18, uh, go watch some Minecraft videos. Minecraft videos are better. Blow my pigs off. Because there's cute little piggies and there's cute little sheep and we do lots of cute little things. Minecraft is fun. I've been getting into it recently actually and I've even made an iron farm and a tree farm and an XP farm and a bussy farm. Does anyone else just look at their bussy and be like, hmm, mine is small. <clears throat> so yeah, for those who don't know, before I did YouTube, I did porn. Uh, not well, I say. I mean, I, okay, I'm at two 2,000 subscribers in that site. Um, that is what I did first. And the reason I moved over to YouTube is because I wanted to do something and make something which is more worthwhile. Something that I can actually look back on and be... I'm proud of that, and I know, right, a femboy channel, not not the best of ideas, but, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm working with something, I'm trying to work with what I've got, you know. So yeah, I did that before YouTube, and I much prefer doing YouTube, hence why I've not uploaded on that no-no site. And if you, if you do go into the no-no site, what are you doing, man? Stop jerking off the femboys. They're too cute. Like me. Um, so yeah, and by the title of this video, you're probably already guessing where this is going to be going. I'll be getting right into that. It's probably one of my most shameful acts I've done, which has become a meme. And I was talking to my friend about this earlier. It's like, we're looking at my channel, right? And I was talking, hey, do you ever think this femboy channel can go anywhere? And he he didn't think so. I was optimistic. I'm saying this femboy channel can go places because guess what, boys? We were only at 30 subs. Like, I think it was this time last year. Now, I... I don't have a great scale of things, but I think almost hitting 2,000 subscribers in less than a year is like, Jesus fucking Christ. That's a lot for me, especially knowing the content I put out, it's like fucking retarded bullshit. I don't really have a filter with what goes on in my head and then what comes out my mouth. I need to fix that. I've not been in my skirt for a while and I'm sorry guys, it's because I've been so lazy I've just decided to put a hoodie on, stay in my underwear and then um, record videos because I've got stuff to do. But yeah, when I was doing this stuff on Pornhub, and again, fanboys do lots of silly things. We all do silly things. In fact, that's what fanboys are known for, is we just do stupid shit. And that's why we need a dom with us to make sure that we don't do that stupid shit. Hence why it's like, that's another reason you can tell if a fanboy's taken or not, is if it's like trained properly. So. With the story I'm about to tell you, you can clearly tell I wasn't trained properly because if I was, this would have never happened. My hands be small and soft. I, s I swear I washed this Cheeto hoodie, by the way. And I was wearing a thong. Is it just me or does- I don't get thongs because one, there's not enough area to hold my- my fem- my fem balls. <laughs> And uh, it, it just feels like you're constantly in a wedgie. But they're cute, so fashion is pain. But yeah, on, on this no-no site, I decided one time uh, I need something big. I need something that's gonna get a fuck ton of views that no one's done before or that no femboy has ever tried to do. Because, you know, it's, it's one thing jerking off to just random fucking femboys online, which is like, no, if you're gonna jerk off to femboys online, like, at least make it, you know. Don't wanna, don't wanna name any names, but you know. 
Also, if you name any other fucking names, that's, if that's considered treason, then I'll ban you off the fucking channel. Okay, love you. Pat, 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 pat. This chair has an imprintment of my ass. I just got so much stuff going on in my widow brain. So yeah, on the no-no site and I needed a comeback. Haha, <laughs> funny fun, come. <laughs> come, I love come. Come's great! And I thought it'd be a great idea if I, because I was, this is a time at student life. If any of your students out there, you can relate. I was poor and I still am poor. In fact, I'm living off OnlyFans money right now. And I thought it'd be a great idea if, Instead of eating the food that I paid for to eat because I'm hungry, I thought it'd be a great idea if- because I was like really fucking horny one night. So I decided to make some jelly. And when I opened that fridge and I saw the jelly and it was just all wobbly like that, bro, my femboy senses were tingly. You know, this channel ain't getting anywhere off my gameplay, right? And it's not getting anywhere off my fucking retarded ass femboy personality. It's getting off the fact I fucked jelly. My first thought wasn't, oh, I can eat this because I'm starving. My first thought was, I want to put my dick in it. I know, guys. I know. I know. I'm sorry. I broke the fanboy code. Never fuck another fanboy's food. But, like, no one else was going to eat it. So, basically, and... Some of you are probably wondering how, how this fucking works, right? So, it was a bowl of jelly, because, like, you put the jelly cubes in, you put the water in. In fact, bro, like and subscribe right now, and comment down below uh, what silly little fanboy thing do you guys do. And if, if we get enough people doing that, um, I promise to make a how to make jelly video. Obviously not the way I made it, how I'm describing it now, but I'll make a how to make jelly. Like, uh, I'll wear my maid costume and we'll make some femboy jelly together. How about that? And I'll teach you, I'll hold your guys' hands through the process and we can all make some jelly together. So yeah, go do that right now. I put the bowl on the floor and I just stared at the jelly for a bit because I was like, my brain was like telling me one thing and then the other half of my brain was telling another thing. It was like, my brain went straight towards those intrusive thoughts. And the next thing I know, my fucking underwear's at my ankles. And I'm I'm staring at this fucking jelly <laughs> with my fucking camera, like, aimed right towards it. This video's still up, by the way. It's got more views overall than my YouTube channel combined, I think. That might be changing because my YouTube channel is actually starting to kick off now. Which is, you know, thanks to you guys. Thank you all so much. I don't know why you enjoy this stuff, but I love you all. And I think about this every fucking night thinking, holy fuck, this... I, I made this. I swear to God, if we get this fanboy channel to fucking blow up and we become like a fucking, I don't know. Imagine that, a fucking fanboy channel being in the top tier. Fanboy's gonna rule the world one day. I told you, my fanboy militia is marching. We are, we're going fast. Basically, what I decided to do was, as you know in the title of this video, I decided to then stick my dick in the jelly and, uh, well, what else can I say? Fuck it. Now, I'm not a top, I'm a bottom all the way, boys. But, um, I don't know, I just, I... <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, mum and dad. I'm sorry to all the people I probably let down. I'm sorry to all... <laughs> I'm sorry to all the people for... That was for all the OGs out there who are on this channel. Um, I'm sorry that was your first impression of me. I don't know what came across... Aha, <laughs> came... <laughs> I don't know what came across me uh, through that video, but um, I, I can only promise you one thing, that's not me anymore. I'm a changed femboy. Look, I like Cheetos now, not jelly. <laughs> so yeah, basically, yeah, that happened, and after the femboy, uh, after the femboy milkshake appeared, uh, I decided, let's just go one step further, let's, if we're gonna... I don't know, get clout or become a meme or whatever bullshit. Um, we, we have to eat the jelly afterwards. So, uh, yeah, that happened on camera. And um, the amount of shame I felt sitting in my bed with my bowl after that was uh, immeasurable. I just remember looking, looking at my contacts being like, I can't look at any of these people in the face again because I know what I did. And they will probably find out because my friends found out 
I think it's because I told them when I was drunk or they found it, I don't know. Um, fun fact, my dad actually found my, my no-no site as well and he's making jokes about it all the time now. After a few days, that femboy video on the no-no site blew up. That jelly video is, is currently almost at 40,000 views. 40,000 people have seen me fuck a bowl of jelly. Despite the fact that when I saw that jelly video succeed so well, I decided I need to do something else. So the next video didn't do as well, but um, I it, it was pretty close in succession in terms of it, I, I basically um, made made the femboy milk on an ice lolly and ate it. Um, oh, I can't. You see, when it comes to the point where this channel is like able to be monetized, and I what YouTube does, I think is once I get a certain amount of views throughout the year, I can st I can apply for monetization on this channel, but someone has to like review my content. I mean, I guess the good thing about, I think in that video I even show my face, which is weird. Um, so yeah, if you want a fucking face reveal, in fact, no, I'm not gonna fucking promote that shit. Forget it. Give it out your head now. I'm pretty sure I've done a face reveal on this channel before anyway, like, I, I guess the only- okay, the only reason I wear the mask is- uh, well, there's two reasons, actually. One, insecurity. Got a fuck ton of insecurity. And two, I don't really want my face, because my videos gain the most views. So, if people see that, and there's people around, then I, I prefer to kind of keep my identity as hidden as I possibly can still, even though I've probably jeopardized that many times. I'm more confident with my body, in terms of downstairs, like, below- below the- like, I'd say here, I think I, I, I'm i appreciative of my body, I've got, I think I've got good shape and tummy and legs and that. All because I eat those dino nuggies and all because of that chocolate milk. Health! You know, like, femboys are like, it's like every boy, if you're a femboy, your femboy is like your boy's costume, right? You're still a boy, because you're, you're saying you're a femboy, so you know you're a boy. Uh, but, you know, you're wearing a costume. And this is like my costume, the Spooksy avatar is my costume. Like, I'm I'm a pretty small boy, you know. My I've got windows like that direction as well. So I am also not wearing any makeup today. Again, I keep saying that every video. Uh, I promise, when I've got more time on my hands, I'll put more effort into my appearance. The whole having sex with jelly situation for me was more. <laughs> again, I, I've mentioned it. It was more about. This is, I feel like this is going to blow up because not many people have done that and for probably a good reason. I'm sorry I've let you all down. <gasps> femboy temptation is bad. Bad femboy. Bad femboy. Bad femboy. <laughs> By the way, that's what you do, doms out there, uh, if your femboy does a bad. You just... Eh. Or you spank it, I mean. Owie. That seagull was watching me. It's a fucking gay seagull. But yeah, the whole femboy thing, uh, there's a lot of femboy memes out there. I hope to be one of them one day. Yeah, I don't recommend that sort of stuff. I mean, in general, like the whole no-no site stuff to any femboy out there, like, d keep it innocent, right? I know you're watching this channel, which is like the farthest thing from innocence, but like, I want, I, 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 uh, I envy people. Who don't who don't do that there's a lot of femboys on that site uh it's growing in popularity but i don't want to see i don't want to see any of you guys on that you know what femboys have got stuff to show sometimes and that's completely fine and it's your choice but just saying there was i i think there's consequences for it, for it sometimes like my dad found it my my friends found it it's not that hard to find once you upload it so you just have to like be fucking prepared for it. i already went through that fucking trauma of having my parents find that shit and having my friends find it. Thankfully my friends uh, still like me. I think. I hope so anyway. And I always made friends along the way. Yay. But yeah, always be careful what you fucking put out on there because like, again, you don't know what you're going to think about in 20 years and uh, as much as I've put on Pornhub and Pornhub does have this thing where it's like, if you delete your channel afterwards it completely erases it from the internet. But there's still people out there who can screen record and shit, so you gotta be careful. Sorry, fanboy, for her. I have sinned. Uh, I fucked Jelly. Uh, please forgive me, Ubu. Not gonna lie though, the fucking feeling of it 
on my deck was not even that like good because femboy is so like easy to break not femboy why did i say that because jelly is so easy i mean i'm easy to break as well but because the jelly was so easy to break it just felt like i was fucking water basically but like thicker water if that makes sense and everything just got sticky afterwards like my balls were just so sticky so like the shower wasn't even a good experience afterwards it was not worth it i don't want anyone fucking jelly if i see that shit happen as much as i'm a hypocrite um i will smack you i am asserting violence for people who have seen that video though is my ass okay also none of you fucking noticed the easter egg in my last fucking thumbnail about i hate vegans uh i i underneath my shark fin i put like a i photoshopped a picture of my butt hmm. but yeah the moral of the story is that racism is bad big boin big boin big booty anyway a bit of a shorter video i think but i am a little busy boy right now my little legs are running all over scotland so um there's that um other than that though i think i'm gonna leave a video off here uh i don't really know what else to say i feel like it wasn't as like climactic as the title of this video probably makes it out to be but um yeah there's not really much to it i, I fucked jelly yeah i put my dick in jelly this is not a joy video by the way so if i if any of you have got your fucking pants down right now i'm gonna come over and uh I need to be restrained. No, that will only turn me on more. <laughs> yeah, I'm starting to believe my friend now about how this YouTube channel is going nowhere. <laughs> it, it will be staying in the darkest depths as crevices of fucking YouTube. Unless you guys help help me out a wee bit and we can we can be the first femboy channel to, I don't know, what, what has no femboy channel done before? But we'll do it. Everyone will have to respect the name of Spooksy. Talking of, do you guys want a Spooksy sticker? Because we're selling them in the merch store right now. Uh, they're really cheap and they're really cool. So if you want to spread the word of Spooksy, our fanboy lord and savior, amen. Um, then go get yourself one, because why the fuck not? I have one 24-7 stuck onto my ass. So that when ev even when people are railing me... Anyway, I'm going to shut the fuck up now, because yeah... Again, this is a bit of a different video. Let me know down in the comments, by the way, what you want to see more of, because I can continue doing the things I hate, but I also want to show you what I've been doing on Minecraft. So if you guys want another Femcraft video, then just say down below. Uh, I might put a poll in my community, so go check that out if I have. Um, I want to see, I want to know what you guys want to see out of this channel, because some of you really like the Souls game, some of you really like the Minecraft, and some of you really like hearing all about the things that I hate. So I will do all of that. This channel is going to be a hybrid fanboy channel. I want this to be the fanboy safe space. You know, if you're a fanboy and you just want to chill and talk about fanboy shit and play fanboy games and talk about fanboy clothes and shit, I want this to be your sanctum. And uh, for a thousand fanboys so far, it's their sanctum. And I love you all. I will look after you all and talk about fanboy stuff and all that cute uwu shit. And then we'll rise up and take over. But yeah, like always, if you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing. Uh, the Discord server will be down below, as is my merch store. And yeah, I don't know what we'll be doing next week. We might be doing a Minecraft video. If not, we're going to be talking about things I hate. Uh, this video is probably going to be the worst it will get. So don't you guys worry. If this is too much for you, that's probably going to be the end of it. Because that's probably the worst thing I've done. In the grand scheme of things. Uh, that I can think of right now. Anyway... I love you all, as always, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye!